invited to the Academy Awards this year because Army Hammer does not yet know that I am his girlfriend, but fingers crossed for next year. In the meantime, I'm going to give you all a rundown of some of the nominated films this year because I definitely watched them all and definitely did not watch the classic film from the year 2000, Snow Day, six times this weekend. I definitely did not do that. As an aside, if Snow Day hadn't been released just two years after Titanic, it is my firm belief that they would have been nominated for an Academy Award. And I stand by that. On to this year's films. First we have I, Tanya, which is basically about this like narcissistic girl named Tanya who just kind of like goes around exclaiming, I, Tanya, throughout the whole movie. Obviously set in caveman times, she's just all about I. I, 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 I. I'd continue on, but I don't want to give her the satisfaction. Next we have The Darkest Hour. It was kind of hard to tell what was going on, you know, because of the darkness. But I will give them this. It was an hour on the dot. Ladybird. You've seen Big Bird. This is Lady Bird. It's like a sequel. We get to see Big Bird fall in love with Lady Bird. As spin-offs go, it was pretty solid. I will warn you though, the sex scenes were disturbing. <laughs> she hates it. The Shape of Water. I liked it, but I already saw the twist coming like a mile away. Spoiler alert, cover your ears. Water doesn't have a shape. <sighs> Call me by your name. Truthfully, like, so confusing. Like, who is this? I thought they were calling them that. Like, is David calling Joshua Joshua because he's actually Joshua, or is David Joshua? I mean, like, for ease of comprehension, I feel like they should just go by their own names. Get Out. I was so excited to see this, but then when I went into the theater, the screen told me to get out. So I was like, who am I to argue? I'm so pissed though, I got my tickets on Fandango. So, vote for your favorites in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe. For me, my favorites probably get out because they have something really exclusive going on, and I admire that. I mean, like, what's the best club to get into? Yup, the exclusive one. They're always telling me to get out, so... There's some good clubs out there. I've never been, but... It's fine.